Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be moving the contents of a file from one machine to another machine across the network using Netcat. So the situation is I have a virtual machine set up here at IP address 1.88 which is a slingshot uh, distribution of Linux. That's the one that SANS uses uh, and is on their website SANS.org. Um, the other machine is my Kali box and its IP address is 1.29. I'm going to create a file on the 88 box on the slingshot box and I'm going to send that information across using Netcap to the 29 box or my Kali box and uh, actually create a, a file with that information. I also want to capture the packets using Wireshark so that I can kind of see what's going on when this exchange happens and I think we'll probably be able to take a look at our three-way handshake if you remember what that is and um, one one caveat is I'm using Wireshark for illustration purposes there are some dangers in using Wireshark um, you can take a look at my LinkedIn page I actually posted some information about that here recently and uh, the preferred method that I use is TCP dump so if I'm doing a, a real engagement or I'm actually uh, uh, taking a look at a target that I'm unfamiliar with and I don't know if it's a honeypot or, or what have you, I'll use TCP dump and then I'll open that file uh, later offline with Wireshark to actually analyze the packets. So let's go ahead and, and jump into this. I've got both machines up. So let's start with our slingshot. I'm going to do an IF config tack A and we can see that this is a 1.88 machine. I'm going to do the same thing over here on my Kali box. And so this is a 1.29 so I'll clear that and clear this. The first thing that I want to do is I want to create a file that I can send using Netcap. So to do that, I'm going to use IP address uh, as just a random command. And I'm going to send that out to file.txt. And so you can see that it showed up on the desktop down here. The next thing I want to do is I want to append that with some information. So I'm going to do echo. This is my information. Close that and I'm going to send that and append it to file.txt. Last thing I'll do is I'll check that file and we can see that the contents of the file start here and you can see here's our uh, IP address and then down at the bottom of the file this is what I echoed out. So we're good to go there. Now what I want to do on my Kali box is I want to start a Netcat listener. So I'm going to start Netcat as a TACAL listener on TACP for port 1234 to make it easy. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to send the information from that to a file.txt on my desktop and that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Over on this machine I'm going to open another uh, terminal window. I did have a question, how do you open the terminal window without going to the menu? Good question. So I'm using the control alternate T, the letter T, 
to open up another command window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Wireshark. And so I'm going to go ahead and start capturing on this ETHO. So I'll just go ahead and start that. I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the netcat over here. I'm going to send it to 192.168.1.29 and it's going to be on port 1234. Now I'm going to import the file into that. So that's what I'm doing here is the IP address of the machine I'm sending to the port and I'm importing this file.txt information into that. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter, um, give it a, a second or so for that to go across. It shouldn't take very long. And then I'll stop both, uh, both machines and both listeners there. Also what I'll do is I'm going to stop the, uh, the Wireshark as well. So first, let's go ahead and see if that information came across. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to cat the file. And so here we have it. Um, here's the IP address of my uh, slingshot machine coming across. Here's the information that I appended to the end of the file. So that did work. And again, I'll do IF config so you can see that the machine, my Kali machine is 29. So so that did work. That came across. So now let's take a look at our Wireshark results here and uh, and kind of see what what I have. So right here is probably the first bit of information. Let me shrink this down just a little bit so we can see it. So the first thing that's going to happen in this exchange is from 1.88 to 1.29. So from the slingshot box to the Kali box, I'm actually going to send a send packet, which is a sequence packet. All right. The next thing that is going to happen is that box is going to respond. Whoops. That box is going to respond to that with uh, a SENAC. So it, it sends back a SENAC. Move this down a little bit. So the first one was a SEN on uh, and it's sending to uh, 55, 384, uh, the 1234. And it is acknowledging that and then acknowledging here. So this is our, our three-way handshake, our SIN, SENAC, and ACK. So we've established a TCP communication between the machines. Now I'm going to push over some information from the 88 to the uh, 29 machine. And so if we look and see what information is there, I'll move that up. We'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on down here. This is the information that is in the file that is being transferred over. So if I take a look at this, uh, I'll just take a look at the TCP trail. This looks a little bit more human readable. You can see that this is the information that went across. And then the last bit of information is this is my information. So as you can see, uh, obviously Netcat is unencrypted. So you're going to be able to see whatever is uh, being transferred um, in the clear basically and then there's the last thing is an acknowledge and then we tear down the connection with a FINAC a FINAC 
and an acknowledgement. So I hope this has helped uh, certainly to not only show you how to move the contents of a file using Netcat but also what the three-way handshake looks like and uh, and also what the information being moved in Netcat looks like. So until next time, happy hunting.